are back here on Carolina Women with our man on the couch. And we continue to have Connie Hip here because she has so much really inf great information. During the break, she was sharing the classes that you all were in for leadership. And, and I think I should brag on the Mark family. They are so giving in this community, but they've also, the, a lot of the family's been through, Larry was in the class of 89, I was in the class of 87, so by that time I perfected a little bit. His mom <laughs> was in the class of 93, Robin was in the class of 97, and then their daughter was in the class of 2003. Yeah, and it's like a legacy. Oh, right, and yeah. she was pregnant at the time, so I figure we have a future one coming at one point <laughs> there too. But anyway, but I, I have met so many wonderful people through this program, plus I've been able to share a lot of people that I've admired and Larry's admired growing up and be able to introduce them to people that things are named for sure. in this town and such, and, they, and, and let them tell their story so that people are more engaged and wanting to be part of the community. You said it's 40 years, you have an anniversary we coming have, up. Yes, the next year's class, the class of 2025, will be the 40th year of the wow. program. And I'm not retiring yet, so there. And talk to Please us a, don't. <laughs> and talk to us a little bit, you were sharing with us about mm. some of the speakers that you've had. Like, Oh, oh yeah, well, we had um, Brantley Harvey Jr. was one of the founders of this program. Okay. At one point, he was Lieutenant Governor of South Carolina. He was a local attorney. And in fact, his son was in my class. But Brantley used to be come and talk and tell about Old Beaufort along the way. The Chambers Park downtown, the Waterfront Park, was named for Henry Chambers, who was mayor here for many years. And I just adored him. And he would come talk. And he would talk about things like years ago when people in the community like him said, OK, we need public water. Let's figure it out. We need to do other improvements for our community. And he would challenge them to be part of that for the future carry on this legacy, do something with it. And we've been lucky enough to have a lot of different people like that, that you, you never would have heard their stories otherwise. And, and to be able to hold them up and say, this is somebody that made a difference and now they want you to do it for the future. What's really interesting is you all have lived here and you're part of the legacy and the history of Beaufort. Do you find that people who are new to Beaufort are fascinated and really excited about joining the leadership program. Yeah, and I think they, they learn more about the community than a lot of us that grew up here. And that's what amazes me is mm -hmm. I've had people stop in when we were downtown and ask where the oldest house in Beaufort is. I had no idea when the first person that did that, and it's on the back corner of the block that my business was on but locals take a lot yeah. of stuff for granted. And you, you, you say that, and I'll have people in this class that have just moved to Beaufort, okay. literally, and yet people that have lived here all their lives, and we'll go visit something, because I, I think you need to go out. You don't need to just have somebody talking at you. And oh, so this is experiential. Oh, yes, ma'am. Okay. Well, we, we go all over the place, and people will say, I've been living in Beaufort all these years, and I never knew what was in that building because we take them in it. It and sounds like they come out of this program changed. Oh, I, I really, and I get the feedback from people, yes. Let me give you a little bit of, from my, my sure. experience. So Connie put me on um, a, a committee to talk about consolidation of government okay. while I was going through Leadership Beaufort. So I met with Henry Chambers, Mayor Chambers. I met with John Perry, who was County Administrator, met with Port Royal talked to him, found out that some things could be consolidated, and since we've seen some of that done, and some things couldn't, okay. just because there's too much diversity right. um, in the people that would be receiving those services. So I come out of Leadership Buford, I'm immediately <laughs> in line to be president of the Chamber of Commerce, which they now call um, chairman. Uh -huh. um, I went on um, the Buford County Planning Board and rose up there and then I was chairman of what they call the BATS committee to plan the roads for Beaufort, Jasper, wow. Hampton and Colleton County and I'm going how did all this happen? That just happened yeah. to me. <laughs> and it was meeting people through leadership. Yep. And you get their time and talents and then with it it's creates an, it, more. It is amazing and it is so wonderful to have the opportunity to talk about this. Mm -hmm. And again, I think we could go on and on and on. Absolutely. Larry, Connie Hip is amazing. Connie, you are absolutely amazing. We want to thank you for your time. Thank you all for your time and thank you, sir, for this opportunity here at FWDG with Carolina Women and our man on the couch. Bye-bye. <laughs>